at Tess Bash World's Ask Me Anything session, I was asked, what are your test portfolio recommendations when one's day-to-day work is not confidential and otherwise not shareable? I'd like to talk about this today. First, let's define what a test portfolio is. I'd like to use Beth Marshall's definition in my book, Starting Your Software Testing Career. According to her, a test portfolio can be something as simple as a free Trello board or link tree link, where you bookmark all the interesting things you want to learn or try out and then pop some evidence in when they're done. One way I would like to adapt this definition for the purposes of this video is that it will also include uh, evidence or references to what you do in your day-to-day work if you are currently employed. With regards to your day-to-day work, I suggest to keep your LinkedIn profile updated with what you have worked on, which skills you have gained as a result of this project, technologies you used, how you added value to your projects, and so on. I suggest you also do the same with a personal site or website that you have. Now, in terms of creating the test portfolio itself and including what you'd like to learn and to showcase what you have learned, you could blog about what you plan to learn and then write down what you have learned. You could also publicly commit to taking some courses and share evidence of this when you have completed these courses. When you are blogging or um, sharing what you've learned, especially uh, what you've learned in the workplace, I do think you need to make a judgment call on what's appropriate to share and what's not. I make sure to not share anything that I think could be detrimental to a project, anything too specific around Um, bugs I've discovered. It's one thing to share a bug that you've discovered or that you worked on or the details of a project that you worked on the the day after or the week after. I do think it's a different story to do it like five or ten years after the fact. My last piece of advice when it comes to a test portfolio is to do it. Create something to showcase your learnings online. Whether it is a GitHub repo, whether it is a blog, feel free to create a YouTube channel as well if that's your cup of tea. The thing is, it's something that I believe a very small minority do and it's a great way for you to stand out. So if you are thinking about it and then don't do it, then you really have nothing to show a potential employer in the future. But if you do it, then that's a start and then you'll get better at learning how to show what you've learned as a matter of practice.